Hey guys, Kerox Civi here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Kaminari Henkei Deluxe Terai Denno from Juden Sentai Kyori Yuchir. This is Kyoryu Gold's partner Juden Ryu that can transform into its own robot mode and combine with other Juden Ryu. So this set includes two things Juden Ryu Terra Gordon and its respective Judenchi. So uh, this is a little bit of a strange release because as of right now, Kyoryu Gold's roleplay gear has not yet been released and is actually set to release at the end of the month. So it's a little bit strange for an extra ranger's mem an extra ranger's mecha to be released before their roleplay items. So we'll start off by taking a look at Terra Gordon. So uh, Terra Gordon is the first Yuden Ryu uh, to not be based on a dinosaur. Terra Gordon is a golden pteranodon, which is technically a pterosaur. As uh, by their definition, dinosaurs were the walking ancient reptiles, while pterosaurs are what they called the flying ancient reptiles. But pterosaurs are usually grouped together with dinosaurs. And as far as the pteranodon goes, it is the most common pterosaur fossil to be found, and is unique among pterosaurs for, unlike most pterosaurs that have teeth with beaks, the pteranodon has a toothless beak, more like a modern day bird. So, taking a look at it, the first thing you can see is that it has an incredibly wide wingspan. So, uh, this makes it very big in a different way than Gabutira, who is both tall and long from head to tail. In fact, just for a little size comparison, here's your Yujin, and as you can actually see, its wingspan is longer than Kyoryujin is tall. <coughs> Taking a look at the details, first off we can see its head, which is in silver plastic, with a lot of nice metallic gold paint. And see its painted red eyes with black irises. Lightning bolt designs on its head as Gordon has electric based attacks lightning based attacks so it's got a lot of it got has kind of a lightning bolt mo, lightning bolt motif to it as far as the head goes you can actually open up the beak like this to reveal the Judenchi slot and close it back up it also has this visor here which you can flip down for what's called Debos in mode as when it first appeared it was broken free from its seal, and the Davos army, the enemies of the Cure Eater, took control of it. So when that happened, this visor flipped down over its eyes. Getting to the rest of it, on the outside of the wings, you have this. You have more of the metallic gold paint, while the inside of the wings are primarily black. Black. And see a fair amount of mold in detail as well as metallic blue lightning bolts on each wing. Which are gold on the underside. Moving to the back, you can see its two feet here that are uh, folded so they are parallel with the rest of the body. As Terra Gordon is kind of permanently stuck in a flying position. One last it also, you can also see a couple of claws on the wings. And the last detail, which is one that I think is like the only flaw that I have with its design, is that even though the face is covered, you've got the robot mode head just sticking up off the back. It's a little bit distracting, and I certainly wish they would have kind of made did a better job to hide it.
then you look at student, it's student, studenti. You can see that it's got number six as it's the sixth studenti in the order. You got the same metallic gold paint on it with the glow in the dark sticker of Terragordon here and its symbol right here. Got the name in the back, Terragordon, which is a little bit of an odd, odd spelling because in Japanese it's said as Pteragodon. And usually if there's an R after an O in Japanese, they'll pronounce that R sound. So if it was really supposed to be Terragordon, it would have been said Pteragorudon. And even then, I think that they might have been trying to go for Terragoldon as it's a gold Pteranodon. But because of the whole Elnar thing, they end up with an R there. So, flowing around, we have the Brave Inside. We can see a Goldenrod Pteranodon. And like with the others, its image of the, of the dinosaur is styled after its, student, its respective student use. So, you've actually got blue lightning bolts on the inside of the wings, just like on Pteragordon. So of course it is compatible with the Gabu Revolver. Though since Kyoryu Gold has its, his own personal changer that hasn't been released it, I'm just going to be using this for the special attacks. So using it with this Gabu Tira battery. And switching them around. So there you have the regular tone and the low tone. So then taking that out. Normally this would be the part where I use it in Cure U in this Kyojin Cure Yujin, but as you'll soon see, I technically don't need to do that for the sounds that I would make. So bringing back in Terragordon, you got the on-off switch here and the button right here. So, switching on, you'll get the same sound as when you turn on Gabutira. So, while it, you don't have any Jujenshi in, pressing the button once will have will make it sound its cry, just like Gabutira roars when you press its button without Jujenshi in. And holding down the button will get a special attack sound. And it's the same sound that you would get if you used its Yujinshi with Kyur Yujin. And so, Terra Gordon's sound effect is Dodon, the sound of lightning bolt striking, as it uses lightning based attacks. So, to put it in battle mode, you open up the mouth, take the Jujenshi, and put it in. And it's in battle mode that's able to use those lightning bolt, these, those lightning based attacks. And of note is that this is the first Jujenshi where pulling in the Jujenshi doesn't cause any kind of spring load gimmick to happen. Nothing physically changes about Terragordon when it's in battle mode. 
at least just in the show, it, that's what allows it to use its lightning attacks. So with that, we can now transform it into Terai Deno. So to start, you take the wings and take this back section and unclip it from the front section, do that with the other side too. Then take this back section and unclip it from the front. Now with this, you take these parts, fold them down, fold them forward. You can either fold them forward individually or fold in the waist piece. And you take these and fold them down to make the feet. So there you have the legs. And for the upper body, take the head and push it in. Fold in these parts of the wings and fold them down to become the arms. Then take the claws and fold them down like so. And open up the head crest so that you can see the head. Then take the two halves and secure them together using these clips. And also note is that you have these parts which will come into play later. Normally they're like this, but I had them fold down because if you have these folded up, if you put Terragoran on a flat surface, flat hard surface, then it'll lean back. Having these down causes it to be level with the ground. So as I was saying, take these and then put them, stab them together like so. Then unfold these parts and fold up the visor to reveal the face. And to complete the combination, you press the button again. And so there you have Teraideno's transformation sound. Now, whereas Kiryutin uses Samba music for his transformation, Teraideno uses quite different music. And the way it is, is that within the story, Kyoryu Gold is actually a samurai from the Sengoku period, so the samurai from 400 years ago who was trapped inside an evil suit of armor and then later freed. And because he has lightning-based attacks, they kind of played with that and his musical motif is electric Japanese style music. So, taking a full look at Terai Deno, because of the way it folds up, the gold parts are a lot more prominent than it when it's in its Udenryu mode. But you can still see the black and metallic blue mixed in. Looking at its face, you can see that it has a couple of green eyes in there, as well as the silver mouth, mouth plate. And if you want, you can close up the visor and close the visor on the Terragordon head, have it in Davos in mode. Articulation-wise, it has more articulation than Kyo Yujin, but articulation doesn't exactly equal posability. For the arms, you can take them and rotate them a full 360 degrees, as in fact the arms are fully detachable from the main body. From the main body. Legs can go forward and back, and you can actually bend the knee joint at two points, rather than just the one Rather, rather than just the one that you need to connect it as part of Terragordon's wings. But because of how this works, you really can only have it standing when the legs are straight. And in fact, because of the way it doesn't really have much of a heel spur, it only really stands well on hard surfaces. On carpet, it tends to fall, back, fall over backwards. Another feature is that you can actually take these parts of the wings, fold them down like so, 
and they become arm blades for Teraideno that he does use in the show. What's just a shame is that the way the arms are, you unfortunately can't rotate the forearms, which would have made the arm blades look a bit better. Although, interestingly, having the arm blades out and having the arms folded up like this actually help it keep its balance on a carpeted surface. Just for a size comparison, I'll bring in Kyoryujin again. And what you can see is that while they're about the same size, Teraideno is much more lean and much more sleek of a design than the bulky Kyoryujin. So the next thing you can do is combine it with Parasagan and Zagutor to become Teraideno Western. So bring in those two. I'm going to start off by turning them into their uh, arm modes. Just like so. Then you take Teraideno, fold up the arms again, fold back the claws. And you take these and just insert them into the arm sockets here and here and on the other side. And as you can see, as you could hear, or as you couldn't hear, no sounds are made when you insert it into when you insert these into the arm sockets. Which you probably could have guessed by how the arms are det are detachable. And there is no limitation to the rotation, unlike with Kyoryujin, where you can only rotate him two notches forward and then back down. And so, because of this, there is no special sound for Teraideno Western. If you press the button again, it'll just have the same Teraideno transformation sound. So there you have a Teraideno Western. I'll admit that the Parasagon and Zagator arms look a little bit strange as they're really designed more for the bulky Kyoryujin than the sleek Teraideno. But I am glad that this combination exists because it means that I can display... Well, it means I can display Parasagon and Zagator attached attached to another mecha while they have Kyoryujin on display. It means they don't really go to waste. And you, actually, you can at least do something that, with them while you have the regular Kyoryujin set up. And so the articulation is still the same. And because of how the joint system works, they do maintain their position. So you can do some po you can do some posing with them. And while I do certainly wish that there was a some kind of special combination sound, you know, just by simply doing what they did with Cure Eugen and having just two buns in the arm sockets. But it's still nice that you can make this combination and d display Parasagan and Zagator attached to another mecha. And of course you can also make combos like Teraideno Macho and or one with Stewoti and Dracera, which doesn't have an official name, but it's something I would call Teraideno Samba. So the next thing you can do is combine Teraideno with Kyoryujin. That, of 
course, you take off Parasagan and Zakutor. Then fold back up the head and take off Terracordon's head from the front and leave in the Gidenji. Fold back up the head crest and this part is ready. And so from here we're basically turning it back into Terracordon minus the head. So fold back up the legs sort of like this. Fold out these parts of the wings. Sear them on like this. And snap the wings back together. And that's all the preparation for Terai Denno. For Cure Eugen, it's also a very simple preparation process. First, take off the helmet and take off the tail from the back. And you put the helmet back in and close it up so that one skin becomes Gabuchira's tail. Then, what you do is that you take these two, uh, this peg and this clip, and then attach them to Terra Goron right here. Just like so. And this will actually act as a brace because th this is going to attach to the back of your Eugene and then make it quite back heavy. So then you take these four clips here attach and attach them to these four slots on the back of your Eugene. Just like so. And of note is that for this combination, at no point do you need to turn on Cure Eugene's electronics. And now with it back like this, take the head of Terra Gordon and attach, and using this clip, attach it to the top of Cure Eugene's head, just like you would with this normal helmet. Straight that out. And then take the mouth and fold it down for the face. Then to complete the transformation, you will press and hold down the button on Terra Gordon, like so. And so with the combination, you actually have a mix between samba and electric Japanese style music. And so there you have Raiden Kyoryujin. So it's a fairly simple combination as really all it is is giving Kyoryujin a set of wings as well as a new helmet. If you want you can take the Goren Judenken and equip it to Stegochi. Although because of the way the arm because of the way the backpack is set up, you can only move up the arm one notch instead of being able to do it the full two. And for most of the publicity shots I've seen, right in Kyo you can wield the Goren Juden can at all times. So it certainly is pretty cool. But one thing's for sure, it's, it's definitely quite back heavy because you have this whole other mecha attaching to the back. So it, that's why it was a really smart idea to use Kabuchira's tail as a brace that, so that it doesn't fall over. Although this, because of how heavy it is, it's definitely more of a display piece than a play piece. And additionally, there isn't really too much you can do with it. Also, you know, just so I do show it, and 
just so it isn't something left out. I will be turning on Kyojin for a little bit and then showing off the Gion Brave finish for Teragoran's Gion G. So like I said earlier, it is the same sound effect as you get when you press the button on Terragoron without pressing hold the button without having a Gigantian. It's just without the second explosion at the end. Just saying that side. I'll just quickly turn back into Terai Geno. And then finish up the review. And I've noticed that you do want to hold it from the wings when you take this off. Because I found that if you try to hold it from this part of the wing when you detach this, you're more likely to actually take the wing out of the socket. It's just something to make note of. And so there we go. I definitely like Terai Denno. While it certainly doesn't make as many sounds, it of course makes doesn't make nearly as many sounds as Cure Eugen, because one thing is that it doesn't actually have a battery reader. No matter which density you put in, it will still recognize them all as Terragordon. And it's a little bit of a shame that there isn't any combination sound for Kyoji Western, but it hasn't yet appeared in the show, so if there isn't one in the show, then it won't be such a big deal. It definitely has a nice design, very well, very well detailed. And it gets you a Terra Gordon battery a little bit early. It's fun to play with. The robot mode is definitely nice and sleek. And while it's a simple combination, right in Cure Eugene is also very nice as a display piece. So as far as recommendation goes, if you want a Terra Goron battery right now, and you also like the looks of this mech, and want to be able to combine it with Cure Eugene, or if you want a second mech to attach Parasagan and Zagutor to, then it's definitely recommended. Although, if you want, you can kind of wait things out. And if you get the Gauri Changer, which is Gauri Gold's upcoming changer, then of course you'll also get another, of course you'll also get a Terra Gordon Genji there. Another thing to note is something I wasn't able to display here is that for the first release, for the early releases of Terra Deno, there was a Davos in Gigantic campaign, which was basically, you no. Know, if you're luck, if you're lucky, you got when you bought a Terra Deno, you got a second Terra Goron Gigantic that's cast in black and has a different sticker on the brave inside, with the Davos army symbol, as that's supposed to be an evil version of Terra Goron Gigantic that the Davos army used to control him. It's not actually necessary as it is technically, it does technically have the same pin combination as the regular Terra Gordon Gudenshi. And of course, you don't need to have it in there to display Terra Gordon in Davos in mode. 
and it's just a little bonus. And it's possible that if it's ever released in the Kenny Tour Gadgetpon form, I'll probably pick one up. But for now, I don't really, I don't have one, and I don't technically need one, but I definitely would have liked to have one. That being said, it's definitely a cool mech. I wouldn't say to start off a the Juden uh Cure Juden mech collection with this. Because on its own it really doesn't do too much as you just have the transformation and the just a few sounds to it. I'd say this is something of uh, this is definitely something that should be an addition to a Cure Juden mech collection, but not something to start it out with. Still Great mech, good design, fun to play with, and has some nice combinations. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share my channel for more videos. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.